young men and their teachers at the religious school where Jar Nile Singh Bindranwala was a leader. He will go down in history as the man who challenged the Indian government and won. <laughs> Our next speaker is Dave Tapple from the Communication Workers Union. We're delighted to welcome him and other non-Sikhs. Before you joined us here, we've literally had hundreds if not thousands of non-Sikhs watching what happened 23 years ago. And I think it's very important that non-Sikhs join us for this event. So can I welcome Dave Chappell, who's going to address you. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Good afternoon. I'm not an English politician who's come to Trafalgar Square this afternoon to solicit your votes. Nor am I, as has been said, of the Sikh faith. I'm a postman. I live near Bristol and I've been proud and thanks to the Sikh Federation, my friends in the four Gurdwaras of Bristol and in particular Jagbir and Javinder Singh for giving me the honour to address you. Solidarity is an important factor in Sikh life. I have five minutes to tell you what I've learned from Sikh people and Sikh friends and the Sikh struggle. And we showed solidarity today in ensuring that our comrades who were arrested were released. The Sikh people know about solidarity. I've learned from my Sikh friends the merits of internationalism. For three or four generations, Sikh people have come to this country and slaved in some of the dirtiest and worst paid jobs in this country, coal miners, foundry workers, and many of you, like myself, have become active trade unionists. For example, the Gate Gourmet workers at Heathrow recently. For example, the Grunwick workers 30 years ago were largely Sikh workers. You have nothing to prove about your virtues of solidarity or the fact that you've earned your place in England. And many international trade union minded people like myself who aren't Sikhs have learned valuable lessons from that and we've learned also valuable history lessons. Of course Tony Blair would agree with me that how wonderful it is that hundreds of thousands of Sikh people gave their lives in the First and the Second World War. But would Tony Blair agree with me that what we also need to remember and this is perhaps of particular importance to me as a white person what happened in Amritsar, the Sikh capital of the world, on April the 13th, 1919, when this man, General Dyer, slaughtered with machine gun fire and rifle fire, perhaps 1,000 Sikh people. I've learned that from my Sikh friends in Bristol. So I have re-educated myself that the history of this country isn't just the history of white people, it's the history of the British Empire, mostly bad, as well as the history of the brave Sikh people who fought for their own independence, firstly against Britain, and now against, yes, one of the worst countries in the world, the Indian nation. And something else I've learned as well about 1984. And I'll be honest with you, I think the Sikh people are too soft on the white English politicians because, you know, I've been to quite a lot of Sikh events now, and I've seen Liberal Democrats and Labour people and Conservative people in all parties Come to the Sikh nation in Britain and solicit your votes. And they're very, very good on talk, aren't they? But where is the action? Where are the motions and the debates and marches of white people and politicians demanding no arms to India? Where are the white English politicians? Yes, and a few Asian and black politicians, important people, not like myself, who are saying, Get India out of the Security Council of the United Nations because they do not deserve to be there as long as they mistreat and slaughter and torture Sikh people and other Sikh people. And you know, friends, what still goes on, 
The British police force has intimate contact with the Indian police force. The torturers that you've just seen leading on the Hindu mobs. Still intimate contact, still intimate contact between the British Army and the Indian Army, your oppressors. And I, as a non-Sikh, call for an end to that. I, as a non-Sikh, call for the British politicians to stop talking and being nice to Sikhs and put their well-paid jobs on the line and, yes, upset their leaders and march and demand in Parliament that this whole country and the trade union movement, whose international wing I am proud to represent, gets behind you so that next year there are 50,000 Sikhs and 50,000 trade unionists demanding injure out of the United Nations. No police contact with the Indian police. No army contact. And yes, withdraw the ambassador. Thank you very much.